because Lacey Chabert, the actress, party of five, daddy daycare, one of the mean girls, was it really 2004, all those years ago, is on the other end of our AT&T line this morning. Hopefully not going to be mean to me today. What a pleasure to meet you, Lacey. Oh, it's so nice to meet you as well. Thanks for playing the song. That was awesome. Oh, good. That was uh, Party of Five, Tony Cuthbert and the orchestra. Is that what you were up yes. to? Yes. Very good, very good. Now, when you uh, have this rep, you know, you don't look like a mean girl, but you played a mean girl in that movie. And when you uh, approach people now in a shop or uh, maybe when you were dating before you got married, did people presume that you were, you know, kind of mean? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I think that, uh, yeah, they do, and they're kind of surprised when I'm usually not mean. But, you know, it's so funny to me that it's, my gosh, it's been almost 11 years since that movie. Yeah, I guess it has been. And people are still talking about it and bringing it up every day. And it was so much fun to be a part of. I'm so blessed that I got that job. Well, we have a movie expert on the program called Ron Van Timmeren, and he is the, the big boss at Celebration Cinemas, a, a movie chain here in the Midwest. And uh, I suggested to him uh, earlier that uh, you were going to be on the program with us. And here's what he said. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah. Would you like to uh, have a little message for her that we'll play for her? I, blah, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> you're speechless, but I know the sound you're dying to make. <laughs> there you go. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. It is tough, oh, right? Tom, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. It is tough, though, when you, when, uh, I mean, I suppose men very often were intimidated by you uh, when they first come to meet you? Um, I don't think so. No? no I hope I'm not intimidating. I, you know, I, I actually am married. I got married about a year and a half ago. Yeah, I heard. And my husband and I were friends first. And it was really, really nice to get to know someone. And he really didn't, he wasn't familiar with, you know, me, be, me as an actor. And it was nice to, you know, be friends with someone who didn't really know much about my work. And um, um, I don't you, know why uh, I went off on that tangent. But <laughs> no, did you, you didn't meet him on Christian Mingle, I take it. I did not. Okay. I did not. <laughs> um, the, um, I see that you did the Brooke Ellison story produced by Christopher Reeve. And uh, around here in Michigan, we're very fond of Christopher Reeve because he made Somewhere in Time at Grand Hotel on Mackinac yes. Island. Uh, can, can you talk about what yes. he was like and what that experience was like for you? Oh, my gosh. That was such a, a blessing to get to know him at all and, and to, you know, to work on the last film that he directed. It was just awesome. And to play for Gallison, this amazing, incredible, strong woman, was just an honor, truly. But Christopher Reeve was just a kind person. He was such a hard worker. He was so funny. And it just really broke my heart when he passed away. Um, I see here your two appearances on the cover of Maxim magazine, and in one of the issues, you're quoted sitting in a chair in your underwear, by the way, as uh, saying, I'm a nice girl next door, but I love a good weekend in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> is, is that all over now that you're married? No, I, we just go together. Yeah, that changes Absolutely the dynamic not. quite you a bit. Still though, have right? fun and, you know, keep it interesting. It, um, you know, especially before we have a family, we're trying to travel as much as possible and, you know, just enjoy being married and enjoy just, you know, spending time with each other. But we love to have fun. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have a great time together. What was a weekend in Vegas with Lacey Chabert like before you were married? Um, <laughs> exactly the same as it is now. Oh, really? I mean, I, yeah, I would, I would go with, you know, probably go with girlfriends every now and then and, you know, go out and gamble a little bit just for fun, nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, shop and eat and do the shows. I, I absolutely love Vegas for the shows. They have so many amazing shows there. And I actually have a friend in um, a show right now there, so I'm going to go see that soon. But we love Vegas. We, we've always had fun there. Um, when speaking of shows, I see you played Cosette in Les Miserables. That must have been quite an interesting and, I bet, a rigorous uh, job to do. I mean, eight shows a week on Broadway, it's, I think they're some of the hardest working people. I, my part was, you know, small as a child, and I was in the show for a few minutes. Yeah. But, I mean, to sing like that, the incredible talent in that show was just so in inspiring to be around. Um, I love Les Mis. It's such a, it has such a special place in my heart. Yeah, Les Mis, it's a it's a miraculous performance, to say the least, the way they go about doing that. Um, you're... Um, Get you on the Hallmark Channel now with uh, Family for Christmas. We're sitting here in the middle of summertime, and I presume in uh, Los Angeles where you may be right now. It's kind of funny to talk about yes. Christmas. 
But what's the role like there? What was the challenge? You know, I've done a few homeless movies, and I, I'm always so excited to collaborate with them because you know it's going to be a good message. You know it's going to be something that you're proud of. But I absolutely love this movie. It's, I think this might be my favorite that I've done with them. Um, I play a character who, in the beginning of the film, she's with her boyfriend, and she's making the decision to pursue her career and spend time away from him. It cuts to 10 years later. She's incredibly successful but hasn't talked to the guy in 10 years. And she kind of wonders what her life would have been like had she made a different choice. And so she wakes up and finds herself married to him, living in this alternate reality where she has children, she lives in the suburbs, she's not, her career is not the same, and she gets a glimpse at what would have been or could have been, and is able to make a decision from there. And I just love the message of the movie, that you know these small decisions that we make have a huge impact on your life. What does your husband do? Um, he's, he works in real estate. So he's not in the entertainment business. Yeah. So is that tough uh, because you sometimes have to make career choices that are um, spur of the moment and maybe you're away from him for a while and that sort of thing? Is it he is. comfortable with that? It is. But he is incredibly patient and just gets it and accepts, you know, all of me and, and understands that this is a huge part of my life and that, you know, I have a very, my life is so unpredictable. You know, if I get a job, then I may be going away for six months mm -hmm. or two months and we just make it work. You know, he goes with me for a time, or we visit. We try not to spend too much time apart. You know, I'll fly to him, or he'll fly to me. But he's just very patient and understanding, which is I'm grateful for. And then when you when you go out in public, though, um, I presume you're recognized just about at every restaurant in L.A. or really around the world, and that's got to be a tough spot for him, too, with people always approaching you, and he's kind of left standing there holding the bag, right? <laughs> um, it's Yeah, it's taken some getting used to, I think, but... He is, you know, it's how I knew he was the right person because it just he makes it all work and he's patient and loving and, and it's, it's not, it's, you know, it just works for us. What was your, what, what moment comes to mind when uh, I say your favorite Hollywood moment when you, when you really realize that you, you like the lifestyle and that you'd arrived? Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I was the answer or the question on Jeopardy. <laughs> and everyone started calling me, all of my friends and family, like, you were on Jeopardy! And I was like, oh my gosh, that, I just feel so special right now. Because <laughs> I that. love Jeopardy. I absolutely love Jeopardy. I've always watched Jeopardy growing up. Well, that was so I think the, that was a pretty cool moment. That was the big... I'm sure they would have you on the Jeopardy anytime you wanted to show up there, that's for sure. Um, is it oh weird sitting... Is it weird sitting around and being photographed in your underwear, like in the Maxim uh, article? That's got to take some getting used to. Yes, it, 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 that was a little uncomfortable. I mean, they're so lovely at the magazine, and they try to make me as comfortable as possible, but it's not every day that you, you know, have people taking pictures of you while you're in your underwear. <laughs> Definitely not, but well, it, was, it was a positive experience. I'm sure nobody in the movie Family for Christmas is going to be reading Maxim magazine, but the whole family will be <laughs> gathered around the TV. Well, have fun in Vegas and wherever you go, and it was a pleasure to meet you.